and uh, she was the inspiration for the following poem, which is called Princess Die Simulator. <laughs> Just when I think I can't get any sadder about the death of Princess Diana, bam, something else comes along to remind me. Today I was parking my car at Bainsbury, when I saw an old lady returning her trolley to the trolley park. Naturally, the wheels on the trolley reminded me of the wheels on her limousine. Pretty <laughs> wildly out of control before it crashed into all of that Parisian underpass. Killing her, her then boyfriend, Zoe on fire, and driver Henri Paul, and badly injuring bodyguard Trevor Reed something. <laughs> what we need is more media coverage of this tension tragedy. <laughs> It was bad enough when the stuffy, out of touch powers that be, decided that the tatty, zigzaggy old fountain was sufficient to commemorate this woman. A woman who touched the heart of literally every man, woman and child <laughs> who ever lived. <laughs> As opposed to say, an enormous animatronic representation straddling the city of London, dropping great parcels of food aid and anti landmines <laughs> between her thighs. <laughs> and spraying it with Chanel <laughs> so that we need never be hungry or stinky again. When will a video games manufacturer have the guts to design a game based on her life? One where we can simulate every detail of her existence from the moment that she burst forth from the late Rain Spencer's womb through her days attending a day school in Knightsbridge to her adulthood spent crying, vomiting, and furiously guzzling the semen of Will Carling and James Hewitt. <laughs> to her final moment, bouncing around in the back seat of that limousine. <laughs> oh, really <don't> know. <laughs> Before being released from the tyranny of her ridiculously privileged existence, into the blissful afterlife, where she'll sit forever by God's side, judging us all for eternity. <laughs> End of poem.